People ask where the name Karma B came from. The K-A-R is from Karen, M-A is from my sister Marion, and the B is from my last name Barelowitz. And Karma is a nice word that came out of it. I believe in Karma. And B, Karma B. I never know how to describe what my style is. I've always just doodled. I enjoy doodling. I don't think about it very much. Some people have asked if it's indigenous or African or aboriginal in nature, and certainly not intentionally, but perhaps my having grown up in South Africa until I was seven and having worked in Latin America for 12 years in my previous career, perhaps some of those influences seeped into my subconscious. I have almost 100 designs, uh, about 60 of them I print on note cards, and about six of them are my top sellers for baby clothes and kids t-shirts. Uh, I do lots of doodling every year. I usually bring in a, a few new designs. I also do custom work. Uh, if somebody, sometimes they'll like one of my designs and ask me to create an invitation out of it or silkscreen tote bags, personalized onesies or something like that. And other times I'll create from scratch a, a logo or design based on what somebody is looking for if they like my general style of artwork. For the silk screening, uh, I make my own screens. I kind of hack together wooden frames, staple on the silk, and since my designs are pretty small, I can fit multiple designs on the same screen. The screens themselves are artwork to some degree. A lot of people have asked to buy them, but I need them. You can see a whole gallery of kind of backwards designs on the screens that I use. I branched out into adult t-shirts, which has been really popular. A couple of years ago at the farmer's market, I have my note cards all out on a rack, and a lot of people, especially kids, will ask if they're temporary tattoos. So I was like, I've got to figure out how to make temporary tattoos. The tattoos were incredibly popular, lots and lots on Etsy all over the world, which was really funny to me that people in Australia and Saudi Arabia and Germany would order like one tattoo. Here in Kingston, it was a lot of fun because I had lots of people come by every week to get a new tattoo. They last about a week and they would switch switch them out every Saturday morning. So I'm always thinking of new products to put my designs on. And the really nice thing about my store is that the whole back area is my studio and I just run the business on my own. So I'm in here running the business, doing the drawings, creating the products, silk screening and all that from the store. I also enjoy teaching classes. I've taught a lot of artists to help them get over the fear of getting themselves out in the world. I think people don't like the word business, but I love working with artists, thinking about pricing their items, setting up an Etsy store, setting up a crafts fair, sharing all the things that I've learned by having my business. Part of the fun of having your own business is really getting to work on whatever you feel like working on and learning a lot of different parts of the business. I have about 12 jobs here at Carmaby. I think I counted at one point. So I didn't go to business school or art school and it's really fun just to come up with ideas and then figure out how to make them happen and how to do them. As a small business owner, one thing I support and really try to promote is shopping local and supporting small independent businesses. And I really appreciate my customers who make an effort to shop locally and with small businesses because they really appreciate how much it brings back to our community.